Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the question, why am I missing so many messages from my friends, whether it is group text messages or single text messages. So whenever you transfer from a smartphone to something like a flip phone, or maybe it is a light phone three, you may be missing messages. And today we're going to go over as to why and how to fix it. The reason why is because you may have enabled some smarter features. This is called iMessage on iPhone and RCS on both platforms. So on the iPhone side, you need to do extra steps. On the Android side, you only need to disable one thing, which is RCS, Rich Communication Services. Essentially, what these services do is they send your messages over the internet. So like WhatsApp, like Signal, they leverage Apple servers or Google servers in order to send messages back and forth between the different platforms. So if you have a Android device, you have RCS by Google. And if you have an Apple device, you have RCS by Apple. Yes, it can get a lot of confusion, but we're going to streamline it with the fixes. So whenever you move from a smart device to something like a flip phone, what happens is that you will be able to not get those messages if you don't disable the iMessage and the RCS services. You can bypass all of this by using a third-party chat like Signal, like Session, like WhatsApp, whichever one is your favorite in your country and the one that gives you the most privacy. So that's you can bypass all of this conversation by using that on your desktop instead of using all of the communication on your phone. But some of you need communication on your phone. I do. I rely messages with my family and also with my friends on group text messages and you want to make sure that they're the most reliable. So what we're going to do is the first step is to disable RCS. You can go on your phone and there is a guide right now showing on your screen. There's a website that shows you how to do this. I will make sure to put that website in the description below. And whether you have an iPhone or a Google device, an Android device, you have to do this. So you have to go on your phone. You have to find where RCS is on your messages, on your settings, and you disable it. And after you disable it, you will come to this website, enter your number and essentially say, hey, I need to also deregister my number. Not only I'm turning it off on my device, but I also don't want you, Google or you, Apple, to have my information on your server. My number is now going back off the grid only with plain SMS or multimedia messages. So that's the first step. If you have an Apple device, this is the screen that you will be looking for as well to deregister iMessage. It's very similar. So you go into your device settings, you disable it in there, and then you go again to your computer and essentially you go to the self-solve iMessage, whatever the link is, I'm going to put it in the description below. You enter your number and you're also deregistering your number from the Apple servers for iMessage. Now, once you have done that, this is also another wrinkle. And this is really funny. iMessage and also Google allow for group text messages to be renamed. So for example, let's say that you're talking with your dad and your mom and your sister, and they're all in the same chat. Well, now what you have to do or what they may have done is say, okay, we're going to rename this three letter you know, or whatever it shows on their device that says mom, dad, sister, we're going to rename it to the gang or the family, the, you know, whatever Smith family. And that also breaks communication between your dumb phone and your smart devices from your family. So even if you switch RCS off, iMessage off, if they have a name on their group text message, what essentially is happening is they are only communicating among themselves. So what I highly recommend is that you tell your family and friends, do not rename the group chat. That will solve a lot of things. Now, they may not do that. And essentially, that's when you're going to start running into problems. And this is my next fix, which is just move to a desktop solution, move to something like Signal or Session or WhatsApp, whichever one you prefer, and essentially say, I'm going to access these messages on the web, on a desktop, and if you really need me, give me a call or send me a text message that is personal text message. So a lot of these issues are happening when it comes to the group text messages, not necessarily one-to-one -one messages. If you're having one-to-one -one messages, 
is because you haven't deregistered de RCS or your friend um, has added extra information on your contact. There's a lot of layers into this, but I hope that this video helps you understand a little bit more how to fix them. If you have any specific questions, make sure to put it in the comments below. I'll be interacting with you guys. But essentially, deregister from RCS as soon as you can, planning for your transition to a dumb phone. Let your family and friends know like, hey, you know, there's going to be a few lost text messages. Can we test? Can we do these things? Can we make sure that you don't put a different name on the chat? Or let's just move to a completely different platform so I can access all of the group text messages on a completely different platform. And if you need me, if you want uh, to have contact with me, just give me a call. That has That is what has worked for me and what I advocate that you do. And of course, I mean, it is a little bit cumbersome, but there are some sacrifices that are worth making for the sake of my sanity, for the sake of my mental health, and, you know, a lot of other benefits that the dumb phone life gives you. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the comments. See you next time.